Hey guys and welcome to yet another amazing video from yours truly Dapolis. Now guys in this video I'm going to be speaking about the truth behind the risk to reward. How much should you be risking, you know, trade management and all that kind of stuff. How much do I risk and you know the best risk management strategy for you guys to be using um i'm not going to be going into the mathematical details of things today but i you know i it's more of this psychological approach to risk to reward is it really realistic to be making three to one on every single trade you know stuff like that so um from experience i'm going to be speaking today so guys uh don't go anywhere stick around to the very end of this video and yeah let's go Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's yours truly Dapolis. Now guys, before I get into the nitty gritties of this video, I need you to do one thing and one thing only, which is hit that subscribe button right there and drop me a like. This is very crucial for the channel because I think as at the time I'm recording this video, we're just about 5,000 subscribers. So it's 5,000 people, you know, subscribe to this channel. Absolutely amazing. I, will, I, I think when we get to 10K, I'm probably most likely going to do a giveaway to you guys because you guys have been absolutely fantastic from zero subs now we're at 5k and hopefully before the end of this year we get to 10,000 subscribers now guys like i said in this video today i want to discuss um i want to discuss about the truth behind risk to reward you know what how much should you be risking per trade and stuff like that so the first question i always get is um high dabs between three to five percent how much should i be risking okay my account size is let's say $1,000 out of $1,000, how much should I be risking? Well, you know, what's my risk reward? Because um, you find out that some traders don't really have that much money in their trading account to trade with. So if you ask them to risk 3% of their account, that's barely $30. And if they're making maybe, I don't know, a two to one risk to reward, whereby they're making only $60 per trade, they're like, you know, this isn't significant enough. So to be honest, risk management is very relative. If I'm being very honest, I will be a hypocrite to sit here and tell you guys to risk only 3% of your account when I know fully well that some of you guys only have $100 in your trading account. It's ridiculous. Um, so risk management is relative. Personally, I, I must save millions, okay, millions of US dollars. So I can get away with risking 3% or even 1% because 3% of a million dollars is $30,000. If I make the 3 to 1 on that, not your lower 3.5 to that on, on, on return on that trade, I'm looking at about $100,000 on a single trade. And that's fine. But for people who have a $1,000 account or a $500 account, if you ask them to risk 3%, that's $15. And at the end of the day, they've only probably made about $50 on the trade. What is $50 going to do for the average human being? Nothing, regardless of what part of the world you're living in. So this is why I keep saying risk management and risk to reward is relative. Now, that being said, if you have a small account size, you're permitted to go all the way up to 15% per trade okay i don't think anything more than 15 percent per trade is ideal you know once you get to 20 percent why i'm saying this is if you have a small account size it's a lot more difficult for you to grow your account so you might want to increase your stake however there's a downside to that and the downside is think about it guys if you're risking 20% of your account on every trade you place and you only have, let's say, $1,000 in your trading account, that's $200 you're risking per trade. Now, what this simply means is that if you have five losing trades, your account is gone. Okay? Your account is gone. And yeah, so if you have a small account size, this is a risk you have to take into consideration. Do I, you know, I want to grow this account fast, right? So you have to have at the back of your mind, like, I only have five lives. Five lives. However, if you have a bigger account size, so from $10,000 and above, please, that the bigger your account size is, the, 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 the smaller your risk profile should be because you have a lot more at stake. You don't want to blow that money. You see, guys with small account sizes, they have something to lose, but not that much, okay? And you have to understand that 
they're trying to level up. They're trying to quickly grow their account up to the point whereby they have a significant amount of capital in their trading account. So they are permitted, okay, small account holders are permitted to increase their risk profile so that they can quickly grow that 1K to 5K so that they can now relax and be like, okay, now is time for me to obviously implore the best risk management strategies, okay? So like I keep saying, what risk should you be using for your trading? It is relative. For $10,000 account sizes, 3% to make 10% is fantastic. This is what you should be doing. If you have below 1K, you're free to go all the way up to 15 to 20%. However, always remember that there's a, there's a downside to things. And if you want to embark on this route, ensure before you even start trading, this is for 1K guys, 1K and below, before you start trading, ensure that the market is trending, okay? The market is trending because if you go ahead and you want to risk 20% per trade um, in a ranging market, and then the market is not exactly cooperating, you're most likely going to hit more losing trades than winning trades. Okay? And, you know, once you hit a couple of losing trades and you've probably lost about 40 to 60% of your account, emotions come into play and then what's happening? Pff, the account is gone. So first things first, you want to first of all ensure that you grab the Forex Mastery program, of course, to make sure you're educated, you're grounded, your skill set is sharp. And then secondly, you want to ensure that you're trading in the direction of the trend, in the area of less resistance. If the market is giving you um, scenarios that you don't understand, please stay away. You have to understand that you only have five lives only have five lives so you want to make sure that the, the the trade setups are clear even the baby can understand it you want to ensure that you know everything is smooth man you want to ensure like everything is smooth before you start you know risking that amount of money now back to the 10k guys three percent to make ten percent is absolutely fine this is this is my risk profile three percent to make what ten percent now guys realistically now this is in terms of risk to reward so you hear me always talk about risk 3% to make 10%. Is this always the case? It's not always the case. Realistically, it's not always the case. When you go for all your trading seminars and you know you hear all these gurus speak, they tell you, oh, if I just risk 3% to make 10%, or if I just, for every 3%, because if I make 3% to make 10%, if I have two winning trades, it's going to cancel out all my four losing trades and blah, blah, blah. Guys, the honest truth about risk to reward is not every trade is going to give you that three to one. So... Let me, what exactly is even this risk to reward I'm, I've been talking about? It's simple. You want trades whereby if I stick $300, that trade should give me back $1,000. If I risk $300, it should give me back $1,000. If I risk $30, it should give me back what $100, okay? This is it. So three to one, okay, if I risk 30, it should give me back 90. If I risk 300, it should give me back 900, right? So this is... The three to one that I keep talking about, just multiply how much you're risking by three. If it's a four to one, multiply how much you're risking by four. So this is exactly the ideology behind things. So ideally, the average Forex trade you get into is ideally is supposed to give you a three to one, whereby if you risk $3,000, I should be able to make back $9,000. If I risk $300, I should be able to make $900. If I risk $30, I should be able to make back $90. However, guys, this only happens 3 out of 10 times. That's the realistic truth. <laughs> only happens 3 out of 10 times. Most of the time, 7 out of 10 times, you would realize that, listen, bruh, somewhere along the line during the trade, one idiot is speaking on the news and then the market just turns around. Or one resistance or support that you did not see is hanging right there. Or one trend line from freaking 1994 is coming all the way down that you did not see before. And then the market gets right in the middle of your trade and then just starts to turn around. So this actually happens 7 out of 10 times. What do you do? Now, this issue was affecting me negatively for many years during my trading career okay so i had to devise a strategy to combat this and what i did was this right i said to myself i said okay if i get into a trade i'm risking for instance 300 dollars okay and the market goes in my favor and gets to a certain point 
usually the 100% retracement. Now, guys, I speak about a lot of this in detail on the Forex Mastery course. If you haven't gotten it, the link is going to be down below. I ensure to get it because all of these things I'm seeing on my YouTube channel will make a lot more sense and obviously will help your profitability overall. So back to what I was saying. You know, I said to myself, okay, I'm risking $300 to make $900, right? Um, however, things don't always pan out that way. So I said to myself, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to develop my strategy in such a way whereby once the market gets to the 100% retracement, I am going to bank in some profit. So let's say I have one lot open. Once we get to a certain point of my trade, I will close out half, which is 0.5 lots. And I will move my stop losses from where they were slightly past break even. This way, I've been able to bank a certain amount of money. Now, what tends to happen is two things from here. So let's say, you know, we buy here, our expectation is here. However, by the time we get here, I have already taken out a certain portion of my trade. We still have all the way, you know, here to go. Now, when we get here, two things can happen. It's either we proceed all the way to the overall target or the market will turn around and come back down. So, like I said, what I did was once the market gets here, I take out half of my position and I move my stop loss that is here all the way to break even so that whatever the market wants to do from here, if it goes higher, that's fine, more money for me. If it comes back down, what happen, what's going to happen is I'm going to get stopped out for break even. Now, guys, I found out that this, you know, was the best approach. I found out that for every profit I make or for every trade that goes in my direction, you know, I'm never giving the market back that much money. Or the last thing I want is for the market to go in my favor and then the market goes back into my entry and then stops me out. As a trader, it is forbidden for the market to go in your favor and still turn around and get you stopped out. It is an abomination, okay? So, you know, at the 100% retracement, I take, I close out 50% of my position. Now, back to what I was saying in terms of, is it realistic for us to always hit the three to one? Now, because I have done this, I would obviously, I have closed out a certain portion of my trade so I won't be getting my full 10%, my full 3% to make 10%. Now, because I have closed out a certain portion of my trade, so my trade is actually half. So what is going to go from that middle point all the way to the take profit is not going to be the same as if I left the whole trade open. I'll take it again. If I'm taking one lot all the way to the upside, my overall target, I would have made 10%. But because of the fact that we got to a certain point and I closed out a portion of my trade, the remaining trade that went to the overall target is obviously not going to be as much. Okay, it's not going to be as much. Now... Traders feel that by doing this, they make less money. Yes, you will make less money. You might make less money. However, this is, I call it a circuit breaker. It is there to save you from yourself. Because you find out that in those trades, the market doesn't actually get to your profit level, your overall dream profit level area it never get almost never gets there seven out of ten times it will never get there so this measure that i put in place is to ensure that yes i might not take the whole three to one home i might not take the whole ten percent home i might not take the whole you know risk three hundred dollars to make one thousand dollar make risk rather risk three hundred to make nine hundred dollars back yes i might not make that nine hundred dollars back however first of all i have protected my three hundred dollars bam and I have most likely made another $300, bam. Why? Because I've closed out a certain portion of my trade and I'm just chilling. So at the end of the day, you might find out that what you actually made was not a three to one. You might have made maybe a two to one or a two and a half to one or a 1.8 to one, whereby you've risked $300 and you've only been able to make back $500. Now, I, like I said, I know everybody wants to go for the long haul. However, don't forget, guys, 
not only have you protected your capital, you have gone and you've extracted money from the market and you've put it, guys, in this game, you have to be content. Oh, guys, the content traders are the ones that have been trading for 10, 15, 20 years. Those are the people that Forex puts money on their table. Guys, the people who are greedy are the people who the market keeps chopping up and spitting out. You have to be content. You, if you don't have enough capital, either you quickly scale what you have or you look for an investor because you have to be content. Those dreams of three to one, the, go and check my Trader Talk Tuesday. You'll find out that only maybe three out of 10 trades that we predicted actually went the whole journey. Seven out of 10 of them, somewhere along the line, started to reverse. And I always say, once we get to the 100% retracement, bank something. Why? Because 60% of the time, the market is ranging. You would only get those massive $300 to make $900 or $300 to make $1K during trending periods. And the market only trends 40% of the time. Yes, in those times, you know, we stretch the whole trade and we make what we have, we make what we can. However, because the market hardly ever does that, it only does that 40% of the time, that means most of the time we're going to have to take what we get. I know I've spent a lot of time on this video, but I'm trying to you know, put some perspective as to why the market, you know, setting unrealistic expectations is always detrimental to your trading. The truth behind risk to reward trading. You can go for the three to one, that's fine. However, guys, you might almost never get there. You only get there three or four, let's say four out of 10 times. The remaining six times, somewhere along the line, is gonna spin around. So add some spice to your strategy that will enable you bank something when it gets to a certain point my own spice is once it gets to the 100 percent retracement i bank some profit and i speak about this extensively on the forex mastery program so guys i hope i've been able to shed some light on first of all what a risk to reward is okay risking what you risk multiplied by in the x value um let's say you're risking 300 dollars and your risk to reward is three to one just multiply three by that okay so that's what risk to reward is um what is the how realistic is a three to one risk to reward might happen four out of ten times what should you do um like i say i always take out some of my position on the 100 percent retracement um so yes guys you know i'm a realistic guy i'm gonna come on here and tell you guys the truth behind things like you know it's not forex trading is not the easiest thing to do i know that for a fact and yeah i'm the last person who's gonna come on here and be selling you guys dreams however it is absolutely rewarding you can make a lot of money from it it's all about knowing ex the hack behind the market the hack behind the market and guys before i go the forex mastery program will teach you a very important skill how to and how to analyze from a higher time frame and see massive moves into the future this way um, when you get into those trades that are not exactly doing so well, that are just, you know, you know, end, end up banking the three to one, those massive big time frame perspectives will be able to give you a guide as to the overall perspective of the market. So what does this do for you truly? It gives you confidence for you to understand that eventually this market is actually going to go and head for a 2,000 pip move. So at the moment, the market is just acting mad. So I'm gonna take what I can take. For when the market is ready, I have 2,000 pips waiting for me. All I need to do is grab what I can grab and just be stacking up, stacking up, stacking up. 3%, 2%, 5%, 8%, 12%, stack, 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 stack. And then when the big flood comes, woo, guys, you know, we can go swimming. So guys, I hope I've been able to shed light on this topic. Once again, don't forget to drop me a like, subscribe. I know this video was long, but I had to take my time to explain this whole concept of risk to reward. Um, I know it's not exactly the most beginner friendly 
risk to reward but i don't expect most of you guys to be beginners anyways i, I expect you guys to be intermediate struggling traders because most I, I i feel like most traders are actually not brand new they're actually struggling and i think that's my target audience to speak to struggling traders because guys i struggled for three whole years it was not funny so guys if you haven't grabbed the forex mastery program i encourage you guys to do so it contains nine years worth of trading experience and all these goodies i keep talking about and all this experience i put it together in the program fantastic nine mo nine module course it will absolutely change your training all right guys i'll catch you guys in subsequent videos this is my time take it easy and peace out